Hey everyone, it's Sarah Gallier here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a personal story that's been really unsettling for me, and I want to warn you all to be careful online. As some of you may know, I'm active on social media, including TikTok and Facebook. I love connecting with you guys and sharing my life with you, but recently I've had a really creepy experience that's made me realize just how vulnerable we are online. It started when I noticed a user on TikTok who was commenting on all of my videos. At first I thought it was just a fan, but then I realized that this person was commenting on every single video I posted, often multiple times. It was like they were obsessing over me. I tried to ignore it, but then I started getting messages from the same user. They were sending me pictures of myself, pictures that I had posted on my Facebook page, but that only my friends could see. I was freaked out. How did this person have access to my private Facebook photos? And why were they sending them to me on TikTok? I tried to block the user, but they just kept creating new accounts and messaging me again. It was like they were stalking me online. Since I realized that I had to take action, so I reported the user to TikTok and Facebook. But even after they were banned, I couldn't shake the feeling that my privacy had been violated. It made me realize just how careful we need to be online. We share so much of our personal lives on social media, and we often don't think about who might be watching. But the truth is, there are people out there who will use our information for their own creepy purposes. So please be careful, guys. Be mindful of what you share online and who you're sharing it with. And if you ever have an experience like mine, don't hesitate to speak out and seek help. I want to share some tips on how to protect your privacy online. First, be careful what you share on social media. Don't post personal information, like your address or phone number. And think twice before sharing sensitive photos or videos. Second, check your privacy settings on all of your social media accounts. Make sure you're only sharing your content with people you trust. And be cautious when clicking on links or downloading attachments from unknown sources. Third, use strong passwords and keep them private. Don't use the same password for multiple accounts. And consider using a password manager to keep your passwords secure. Finally, be aware of your surroundings when using public Wi-Fi. Don't access sensitive information or make financial transactions on public Wi-Fi, as it may not be secure. I hope these tips are helpful in protecting your privacy online. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.